In mathematical logic and type theory, the lambda cube is a framework for exploring the axes of refinement in Cochrane's calculus of constructions, starting from the simply typed lambda calculus as the vertex of a cube placed at the origin, and the calculus of constructions as its diametrically opposite vertex. Each axis of the cube represents a new form of abstraction, terms depending on types, or polymorphism. System F, aka second-order lambda calculus, is obtained by imposing only this property, types depending on types, or type operators. Simply typed lambda calculus with type operators is obtained by imposing only this property. Combined with system F it yields system F omega, types depending on terms, or dependent types. Imposing only this property yields lambda pi, a type system closely related to LF. All eight calculi include the most basic form of abstraction, terms depending on terms, ordinary functions as in the simply typed lambda calculus. The richest calculus in the cube, with all three abstractions, is the calculus of constructions. All eight calculi are strongly normalizing. Subtyping however is not represented in the cube, even though systems like, known as higher order bounded quantification, which combines subtyping and polymorphism are of practical interest, and can be further generalized to bounded type operators. Further extensions to allow the definition of purely functional objects, these systems were generally developed after the Lambda Cube paper was published. The idea of the cube is due to the mathematician Henk Barendug. The framework of pure type systems generalizes the Lambda Cube in the sense that all corners of the cube, as well as many other systems, can be represented as instances of this general framework. This framework predates Lambda Cube by a couple of years. In his 1991 paper, Barendig also defines the corners of the cube in this framework. In his PhD thesis Lambda Prologue de AZ, Al Presque, Olivier Ridoux gives a cutout template of the Lambda Cube and also a dual representation of the cube as an octahedron, where the eight vertices are replaced by faces, as well as a dual representation as a dodecahedron, where the twelve edges are replaced by faces.